Everyone, delighted to have your company here on 2K Sports for our PGA Tour action. We're at the Reverie Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, as this next golfer begins the day, what are you thinking about their chances? Look, this player has got a massive lead, and sometimes those are the worst to have because you feel as a player the only way that you can lose it is if you mess it up and trust me somewhere in the back of their mind this player understands that so it's going to be a nervy start no doubt to this final round let's wait to see what happens it's all set up to be a beauty let's head out to the action uh, that's a little untidy well doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be it's going to be challenging to replicate the birdie from yesterday. Game with the seven. That approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Now, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. Well, that's incredible. And for birdie, too. A little putt shot here. Oh, yes. What a result. Fantastically played. Getting off to a great start at this event. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. It's a brave one. Driver off the deck. And here we are with the third shot. for birdie. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. That is a thing of beauty. Oh, 
And a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, they should be able to deal with this, I think. It's ended up sitting pretty good here in the sand. Silky smooth out of the sand. Good shot. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Looks good off the blade. Oh, that's good grit there. And that'll put a little pep in your step up and down from the bunker in for the birdie. Good job. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. Oh, well played. Aren't you an expert in the bunker? And he needs this to save par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. This hole here is a par four. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here on the fifth. Outstanding approach shot. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Ooh, right by the hole. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Currently in first position. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Well, that should find the bunker. Oh dear, that's on the beach. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today. That's incredible. They've gone and hold another one. Gotta love this. This player is in fuego. And now 
now that finds him in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last. Where did that come from? That's not his style. Second shot here on the seventh. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. This one looking really good. Well done. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Opting for the six iron. Oh, that was pure. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. It's got a chance. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. There's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. That was absolutely murdered. This is the second shot here on the ninth hole. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. It's on a good line. Fair effort that. Good birdie. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. <laughs> so impressive all week long i gotta say this player is on top of the golfing world at the moment That got caught up in a few of the branches. Ah, bit untidy, wasn't it? 
coming off a string of three birdies. Going with the three iron. Smart shot, always back into the fairway as a safe play. Getting ready to play their third. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. That's a pretty handy shot. Gee, I wish I could play like this myself. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. An opportunity to make their par. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Nicely hold and for par. He sits in first position and I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Always think about taking one more club when playing to an elevated green. Opting for the three wood. This one's headed towards the rough. Well, a little off the target with that one. Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. went in well a lovely opportunity to save par here not a bad line this yeah good putt well hold so no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole and i don't give the rest of the field much hope today our leader is way out in front in this final round here we have a par five is it time to get after it or play it safe That's heading for the fairway. Playing from around 210 yards here. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Opting for the three iron here.
Well, that's big boy golf right there. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Well, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. the hole almost snatched the eagle there that would have been huge nice birdie well played still in the lead now after that hole and i don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four That should find the fairway. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Going with the four iron here. That doesn't look good, Rich. Bit too far right for my liking. <laughs> Left yourself an opportunity. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Well, this will be a bonus, right on 17 feet from here. This one's online. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Second shot here on the 15th. Putt coming up is for birdie. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Woo, that is some pretty good breathing room out in front by a bunch. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Wow, was that a massive drive there. Holy cow. The interesting choice of the driver here. Another birdie opportunity coming up for this player. Absolutely. It's been a good streak late in the round. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Not taking enough club to get it there. How 
close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high calibre. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Oh, this looks pure. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And now that finds him in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well, what a lovely position to be in, holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. Oh, great swing there. Second shot here at the 18th. to be going with the six iron this one's bunker bound not sure if that's what they're intending to do wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course Whoa! wouldn't this be a massive shot to make out of the bunker to win it all <laughs> lovely shot out of the bunker that's in tight and that's it. He's holding for the victory. Well played. Backing up the Brinks truck once again this week. Filling it up. Well, Rich, after that hot start, it's probably little surprise that this player powered through to victory. This player absolutely dominated all week long, all tournament long. Great job. You don't see this happen very often. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. Tour event brought to you by 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Waste Management Phoenix Open is about to kick off. Delighted you're able to join us for this first round action. Luke Elvey back in the booth with my boy Rich Beam and Beamer. We're at the place which has the famed stadium hall. We're at TPC Scottsdale and well it's the loudest showing golf isn't it? 
It's the greatest show on grass. There's no doubt. When players are at this course, the course kind of speaks for itself. It's pretty much right in front of you. There's a couple of tricky shots here and there, a couple of really tough holes. Number seven and eight back to back come to mind. A few stretches in there is difficult, but the difficult thing about playing here is the distractions, the crowds, the enormity of them, the yelling, the screaming. It's endless. And in order to play this golf course effectively, you almost need to put in earplugs because you need to focus on what you're doing, but the distractions are out there every hole all day long what's it like to step foot in the stadium hole it's incredible you feel like everybody is standing right on top of you and the last thing you want to do is hear the booze and so you really focus in on hitting the green to hear the cheers and they're going to cheer for you when you do something good but they're going to let you have it if you do something bad it can be a very stressful place to play if you're not accustomed to that but you could also have a lot of fun with it if you like to get on that road. Let's get down to the action. This one might roll into the rough. Lining up now, this shot from the fairway bunker. This line doesn't look too tough, just in the first cut, right by the green. Oh, that one just missed the hole. 13 feet to the cup. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. This next part is for bogey. Currently at plus one for the tournament. The third here at Scottsdale plays over 550 yards from the tips. It's a strong par five, which requires two big shots to get to the green. The first shot needs to avoid that bunker on the left-hand side to give you a chance to go for the green. But if you're laying up, it's laying it back to a number between those two bunkers that sit on the left side of this fairway, around 150 to 100 yards out. Taking aim from around 240 yards out here. Going with a three-wood here. And here we are with the third shot. Uh, Fourteen footer. This is a good chance. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. And unfortunately dropping back to even with the card. The par three fourth at TPC Scottsdale plays 183 yards. Fairly straightaway hole, but bunkers again, front, left and short right, requires a pretty accurate and solid strike. Beautiful swing there. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Oh, a 
that's frustrating. Par putt coming up here. Oh, nice looking putt. Well done. Now, eight shots back after that hole. The fifth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a strong par four, playing 470 yards from the back tees. There's a big bunker down the right-hand side that'll catch any drive not hit with authority. The approach must be accurate with the bunker on the left-hand side. Anything just slightly missed here will be punished. This shot is about 140 yards out. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Just didn't drop. Just three feet to the cup. And well hold. Let's move on. Matt Kuchar is atop the leaderboard with a three-shot lead. The sixth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a solid mid-range par four, 432 off the back tees. And again, it's more position off the tee that's required here with the bunkers on the left-hand side. A bold play is to fly it over that bunker on the left and leave just a short wedge in. Bold players will get off this hole, but a safe strategy lays back before them. Good shot there from about 100 yards. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Let's see if he can make this. And keep the par on the card. Well hold. Our current leader is up by three shots. The seventh here at Scottsdale is a par three measuring 215 yards from the back tees. A straightaway hole, but bunkers left and right of this green ensure that a nice straight shot is required. Opting for the three wood. That's ah, a little wayward. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Boy, Rich, that was a big-time save, that one. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Matt Kuchar currently leading the field. The eighth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a very strong par four, playing over 475 yards from the back tee. There's a couple of pot bunkers down the left-hand side that need to be avoided so you can get to the green in two. If you're going hard here, there's a tree on the right-hand side that can prevent a good second shot or a line to the green. Two well-struck shots required to get to this green, and even then, your par's not secure. Playing from around 150 yards here. Going with the eight iron here.
Well, that'll set up a birdie bid, Rich. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back-to-back -back birdies. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Finishing hole of the front nine at TPC Scottsdale is a solid par four, measuring 453 yards from the back tees. The big hitters will get after this hole as there's plenty of room down the left-hand side. Although if you challenge that bunker on the right off the tee, it gives you just a short wedge in to a green. It's only guarded by a pot bunker at the front and then a back right bunker. A chance here to make a birdie. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine Handy nine. effort, that one. And this one to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard. Tracking. Oh, just missed. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. It's currently tied for 13th. The 10th at TPC Scottsdale is a short par four, measuring just 428 yards from the tips. There's a huge bunker down the right side of this fairway, which suggests maybe less than driver is necessary off the tee. What you want to do is set up for a good angle of approach, though. There's a couple of pot bunkers to the short right of this green and a big one to the front left to be avoided. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Well, that's well played. and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. This putt will move them to three under par. Go on. Get in the hole. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And he dances his way into the top 10 after that delightful shot. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The 11th is a par four, playing 472 yards and a huge water hazard down the left-hand side. The best line is a drive as close to that water without taking it on. Anything that leaves about 150 to 170 yards in will give you a chance to set up birdie. to have chosen the seven iron. Well, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. A spot in the all-important top five coming up if you can hold this. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. And Cooge currently leads this one. The 12th for TPC Scottsdale is a par three measuring 192 yards off the back tees. Not much to this hole except the bunkers left are to be avoided. Although water can sneak in on the right up near the green if anything is slightly pushed.
Good choice. Go with the three iron. This one might need to sit. Sitting at minus four. Currently tied for fifth place. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. And in it goes for the par. Matt Kuchar is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke lead. The 13th is one of the good scoring holes in the closing nine at TPC Scottsdale. It's a par five measuring 558 yards. Job one is to avoid that huge water hazard to the right or the tree on the left-hand side that juts out into the fairway. If you're clear, you'll have a chance to knock it up near towards the green or just laying it back to a comfortable yardage of around 100, 125 yards. A chance for Birdie here to really ignite your charge. Playing from around 230 yards. Currently four shots off the pace. Good play there, Rich. I like it a lot. Getting ready to play their third. Four strokes off the lead. Let's move one step closer to the lead here. This putt for a share of four. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Now four back after that hole. The 14th is a strong par four, almost measuring 500 yards from the back tees. The bunker that sits in the fairway should be covered. Anything around 190 to 200 yards out will give you a green light to go for this flag, although a four here never hurts. Going with the five iron here. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Looking really good, this one. And down she goes from outside the range. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. The 15th is a very important hole. The par five, 553 yards from the back tees. Either makes or breaks around here at TPC Scottsdale. That huge penalty area to the left is to be avoided if you're to make a decent score. A good drive will allow you to go for this island green in two. Although if you're too far back, no point taking it on as there's water everywhere to collect your ball. Laying up to the 115, 20-yard marker will give you just an easy wedge here and a chance to still make your birdie. Going with the three iron. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Well, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. And he holds it. What a putt. And that will take him to seven under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. 
welcome to the jungle, or as they call it here at TPC Scottsdale, the Stadium Hole Par 316. It's just a short club, but you miss the green, and a chorus of boos will ring out. Here's another opportunity for the crowd to go berserk. What a shot. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a star. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take him to eight under. He's currently tied for first. The penultimate hole at TPC Scottsdale is an absolute beauty. Do you go for it or lay up? A drive here that's just slightly pulled will find the hazard to the left. But if you're short right, a chance to get up and down for your birdie and really push for the title. Four feet to the cup. And that's eight birdies today. Two in a row there, Luke, getting her groove on. And after that hole, leading Matt Kuchar by a shot. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. The finishing hole at TPC Scottsdale requires a great drive. The big water has it down the left-hand side and the church pew bunkers make it a very difficult drive. Anything out to those bunkers on the right will leave a good angle approach. But once you hit this shot, make sure you get the right area on the green if you're to make your birdie. Playing from 110 yards out. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Just six feet between he and the hole. Nice stroke. And with that, this round comes to a close. And that'll do it. Lovely start to the opening round. In top spot, but there's a whole bunch of people right over their shoulder. Who doesn't